There is a sad problem on Family Search that has a tool to resolve it, but how many memories will be lost due to this problem? If you know what I'm talking about, how does this make you feel? If you're unsure what I'm referencing, stick around and tell me what you think. Now, if you want to skip ahead to the Family Search Restore Tool tutorial, advance to that section using the timestamps in the description box or the chapters along the side. Otherwise, let me give you some context to what happened as I experienced it. While working with my great grandfather's profile on Family Search earlier this year, I stumbled upon a broken image icon and words that read, Image currently unavailable. Initially, I didn't think anything of it because weird things happen when family search engineers do updates and maintenance. I trusted they had multiple layers of backups in place and the image would reappear in a timely fashion. A few months later, my mother-in-law discovered the same problem and called me about it. <laughs> I suppose it pays to have a genealogist to use his family search so frequently in your family. Or does she think I have all the answers because I have a YouTube channel? Regardless, I'm happy to help, so I love when she calls with genealogy questions. At this point, I started investigating but didn't have a conclusion yet. Recently, a patron visited the local family history center where I volunteer, and while working in her memories gallery, she had the same problem. Since I noticed this problem had persisted for several months and it had affected three different accounts, it was time to call it into text support rather than have faith that it would all work out one day. The sweet volunteer said the family search engineers were aware of the problem and were working on a solution. I still had faith that family search had backups and it was just a matter of linking everything together. No problem. We'll wait some more. In the meantime, I discovered that the images that were frequently affected were those from the earliest days of the Family Search website as it's presently constituted, meaning the One World Family Tree. So the upload dates typically had the year 2012, 2013, or 2014. My faith started to waver at this point, and I began to worry. Last week, while helping the patron again, we saw this banner. It reads, Missing Files. We have identified an error where some of your memories in Family Search were lost and could not be fully restored. We still have the basic information you provided for each affected memory uploaded, like the title, description, and tag. But the files, some text, or both are no longer available. We apologize for this error and any additional work required to restore missing content. We have implemented new safeguards to help avoid this from occurring in the future. To help you restore a missing memory, we've created the Memories Restoration Tool that shows which specific memories were lost and how to restore them. This message was disheartening. So I wanted to learn more and I found this article. During a recent routine data backup, we inadvertently deleted some memories from the Family Search archive. Unfortunately, a small percentage of the deleted memories could not be fully restored. The basic information for each memory, like the title and description, was recovered, but the files and some text are no longer available. We are sorry for any trouble this mistake may cause. Rest assured that we have instituted new safeguards to make sure it never happens again. I'm dumbfounded. How? How do you delete memories from 10 years ago? And why are there no digital backups? Backups have been repeatedly repeated at Roots Tech, which Family Search sponsors, and at other genealogy conferences. So again, how does this happen? Do you have similar reactions or am I alone here? Not only am I shell-shocked, but I'm also sad as I think about the media that might never be recovered. A lot happens in 10 years, floods, flyers, deaths, and so forth. Are memories uploaded from 10 years ago lost forever after someone tried so hard to preserve them for the future, but now they were inadvertently deleted? I just can't. I just can't put into words my thoughts on this. I believe in giving grace to Family Search and any other platform or genealogists for that matter. This media loss should be a teachable moment to have multiple points of backup for your genealogy material, both online and off. Thankfully, I have many videos about preservation on this channel, and you can also find some from my colleagues. So back up your genealogy materials before you do anything else. Next, if you have missing files on Family Search, there is a tool to make the restoration process easier. You'll access the tool by clicking on Memories, clicking on Gallery, and then there will be a notice that it pops up right there, and then you'll see the message I said and can click on that prompt. 
The other way you can access it is when you see the broken links in your memories tab, click on the person and you'll find the missing link prompt and you can click on that link like you did before. Then scroll down to the picture that you want to fix. Notice they can be images, they can also be stories, and when it's stories, they only saved some of the characters, so that's disheartening. I'm gonna scroll down to George Barton, and I'm going to upload his new picture. Notice it's gonna go into an album and to his profile. Click on Restore to the file on your computer, and after you highlight, click Open when you're done, and then Family Search will give you information about uploading the file. It will tell you this change cannot be undone, so check before you like it and click Upload. You'll also see a message that says successfully uploaded the picture, and that will be one fewer image that you have to deal with in the future. It will be corrected and hopefully be saved. You can scroll up to the top and then you'll see your progress, 3% progress, and one out of 38 memories to finish uploading. Now I am fortunate, I do have many of the photos that were deleted accidentally on Family Search. The story is a little bit more challenging. I didn't save a copy of that. However, I think I can recover the story thanks to the WikiTree challenge that I was a part of, where some folks took the content from Family Search and migrated it over to WikiTree. And I'm hoping that's the case and we'll check that out later. Overall, the family search engineers have made a fairly intuitive tool to restore your photos. Let's not shame the staff for this media loss, but rather thank them for a tool to resolve the problem so far as we're able. Then let us all be careful to back up our genealogical research in multiple locations so that a loss in one area is not a total loss in all. If you have other questions about family search, let me know by commenting below.